Ever wondered what the oldest language in the world is? Has this question ever tickled your curiosity? Language is the backbone of civilization, a tapestry of human history and culture woven together by the threads of communication, from the echoing chants in ancient temples to the rhythmic tapping of coded messages, language has been our most enduring medium of expression. But which language was first to echo across the hills? Which script was first etched into the clay and stone? The answers lie entwined within the roots of human civilization, buried deep in the sands of time. They tell the tale of how we evolved, how we expressed our thoughts, emotions, and ideas. They are the keys to understanding our past. So are you ready to unlock these ancient secrets? Join us on this fascinating journey as we unravel the mysteries of the world's oldest languages. Our journey begins with the quest for the oldest spoken language. Now this is no simple task. Pinpointing the oldest language involves navigating the murky waters of history, archeology, span and linguistics. And while we might never know for certain which language was spoken first, we can certainly examine the contenders Let's start with Tamil, a language that has stood the test of time with literary evidence dating back to around 300 BC. But the spoken history of Tamil likely goes back much further. Today, Tamil is spoken in southern India and Sri Lanka and is celebrated for its rich literature and poetry. It's a language that has evolved yet retained its ancient roots, making it a strong contender for the title of the oldest spoken language. But Tamil isn't the only language in the running. Hebrew, a language steeped in religious and historical significance, also vies for this title. Although its daily use declined around 200 common era, Hebrew experienced a remarkable revival in the 20th century. Today, it's spoken by millions of people worldwide, a testament to its resilience and adaptability. Both Tamil and Hebrew carry with them centuries of history, culture, and evolution. These languages have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, survived the test of time, and continue to be spoken today. So while it's a close call, Tamil and Hebrew stand as strong contenders for the title of the oldest spoken language. They remind us of the incredible endurance of language, its ability to adapt, evolve, and survive. They stand as living testaments to our shared human history, connecting us to our distant past and shining a light on the path that led us to the languages we speak today. As we continue this journey through language, remember that each word we speak, each sentence we form, is a link to our past, a reflection of our present and a bridge to our future. So let's keep exploring, let's keep learning, and let's keep celebrating the incredible diversity and richness of human language. Moving from spoken to written words, let's delve into the oldest written language. The title goes to the Sumerian language, a language that holds a significant place in human history. Originating in Mesopotamia, which is present-day Iraq, Sumerian has been determined to be the first language system ever to be deciphered. The Sumerians were not just pioneers in language, they were also one of the earliest civilizations to have left considerable archaeological evidence. From the 4th millennium BC, the Sumerians began to use a form of writing known as cuneiform. This was a system of writing on clay tablets using a reed stylus to make wedge-shaped marks. It's fascinating to think that this ancient system of writing was the precursor to the diverse and complex writing systems we use today. The Sumerian language is not related to any other known language and is classified as a language isolate. Sumerian is not only significant because it's the oldest known written language, but also because of the role it played in the development of early Mesopotamian civilization. It was the language of administration, law, religion, and literature. Thousands of clay tablets have been discovered, inscribed with Sumerian texts, providing us with a unique window into the life and culture of one of the world's earliest civilizations. By the end of the third millennium BC, Sumerian was becoming a dead language, replaced by Akkadian as the spoken language. However, it continued to be used in an official and ceremonial capacity for many centuries. In the realm of written languages, Sumerian holds the crown as the oldest deciphered writing system. The dawn of writing marked a significant leap in human civilization, allowing us to record history, pass on knowledge, and express complex ideas. The Sumerian language, with its cuneiform script, led the way in this remarkable human achievement. 
Now let's explore the realm of the oldest dead language. A dead language in linguistic terms is one that is no longer spoken in daily life by any community. It's a language that has no native speakers and it only survives in written form, if at all. One of the main contenders for the title of the oldest dead language is Sumerian. Sumerian was spoken in Mesopotamia, an area roughly corresponding to present-day Iraq. This language, with its deciphered writing system, dates back to around 3200 BC. The Sumerians were among the earliest urban societies to emerge in the world. In the late 4th millennium BC, they developed a writing system whose wedge-shaped strokes would influence the style of scripts in the same geographical area for the next 3,000 years. So, in many ways, Sumerian is the cornerstone of our written culture. However, the realm of ancient languages is far from simple and there's another potential contender for the title of the oldest dead language. Here, we're talking about Egyptian hieroglyphs. These were used from around 3300 BC to the 4th or 5th century AD. The ancient Egyptians used this formal writing system to inscribe tombs, monuments and other official documentation. Hieroglyphs were complex, filled with a myriad of symbols that could represent sounds, ideas or objects. Despite these languages no longer being spoken, they still influence our world today. Both Sumerian and Egyptian hieroglyphs have contributed to our understanding of ancient civilizations, their cultures, and their ways of life. They've helped us to uncover the mysteries of the past and have influenced modern languages and writing systems. While it's hard to pinpoint, Sumerian and Egyptian hieroglyphs both present compelling cases as the oldest dead languages. The study of these languages allows us to dive deep into the past and unravel the intricate tapestry of human history. The echoes of these ancient tongues still resonate, reminding us of our shared human heritage and the long journey of communication that has led us to where we are today. Let's now turn our attention to languages linked to the birth of civilizations. There are several languages that are closely associated with the rise of civilizations, each with its own unique story of origin, evolution and impact on the societies they were part of. For example, Sumerian, the oldest known written language, emerged in Mesopotamia, considered one of the cradles of civilization. This language was used for administrative, religious, literary and scientific purposes, reflecting the complex society the Sumerians had established. Another notable language is Akkadian, the language of the Akkadian Empire, which was the first empire in history. It is fascinating because it coexisted with and was influenced by Sumerian, yet it was a Semitic language, unlike Sumerian. The Akkadians adopted the Sumerian writing system, cuneiform, and adapted it to their language, creating a rich legacy of inscriptions, literature, and legal texts. Then there's Egyptian hieroglyphs, the formal writing system of ancient Egypt, Hieroglyphs were more than a language. They were an integral part of the Egyptian civilization's culture, religion, and ideology. They were used for everything from monumental inscriptions to religious texts, and their decipherment in the 19th century opened a window into the ancient Egyptian world. Sanskrit, an ancient Indo-European language, also holds a significant place in the birth of civilizations. It was the liturgical language of Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism and the philosophical language of classical Indian philosophy. The influence of Sanskrit extends beyond the Indian subcontinent, shaping the languages and cultures of Southeast Asia. These languages, tied closely to the birth of civilizations, played pivotal roles in shaping human history. They were not only tools for communication, but also vehicles for expressing ideas, beliefs and values. They were integral to the administration of states, the propagation of religions and the creation of literature and science. The richness of these languages and their written records have allowed us to glimpse the complexities of ancient civilizations, enhancing our understanding of our human past. These languages, tied closely to the birth of civilizations, played pivotal roles in shaping human history. Let's take a closer look at the Sumerian language. The Sumerian language is widely acknowledged as the world's oldest known written language. Emerging around 3200 BC in the ancient land of Mesopotamia, now modern-day Iraq, the Sumerian language was a vibrant part of the world's first known civilization, Sumer. The Sumerians are credited with many firsts in human history, including the invention of the wheel and the earliest form of writing known as cuneiform, cuneiform which translates to wedge-shaped, 
was written on clay tablets with a stylus made of reed. The symbols, initially pictorial, gradually became more abstract and stylized over time. This written language was primarily used for record keeping, administrative tasks, and religious ceremonies. From thousands of surviving tablets, we have insights into the Sumerians' advanced system of laws, their mythology, and their day-to-day -day life. We see a civilization that was complex, structured, and surprisingly modern in many aspects. Sumerian, as a spoken language, was agglutinative, meaning words were formed by stringing together morphemes, which are the smallest meaningful units of language. Each morpheme in Sumerian maintained its specific meaning and pronunciation, unlike in English, where morphemes often change form depending on context. While there's no direct descendant of the Sumerian language, it had a significant influence on the languages that followed it, particularly Akkadian, which eventually replaced Sumerian as the dominant language of Mesopotamia. Sumerian's decline as a spoken language began around 2000 BC, and by 1800 BC it was virtually extinct, used only by scholars and priests for religious, ceremonial and scholarly purposes. Its use completely ceased around the first century AD. However, the legacy of Sumerian lived on as it had already left an indelible mark on the Akkadian language and its offshoots, including Babylonian and Assyrian. Even though Sumerian is classified as a language isolate, meaning it doesn't belong to a known language family, it has contributed significantly to our understanding of early human civilization. The preserved cuneiform tablets provide a fascinating window into the world of the ancients, revealing a sophisticated society with complex religious beliefs, legal systems and literary traditions. Despite its extinction as a spoken language, Sumerian continues to be studied and researched by linguists and historians. The decipherment of cuneiform, which began in the 19th century, opened up a new world of ancient literature and history. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known works of literature, was written in Sumerian and later translated into Akkadian. This epic poem continues to be studied for its literary merit and its insights into ancient Mesopotamian culture. The Sumerian language, in its complexity and sophistication, reflects the innovative spirit of the Sumerians. They were pioneers in many ways, not only in developing the first written language, but also in establishing the foundations of civilization as we know it. Their language, in its written form, has outlived the civilization that created it, providing a lasting testament to human ingenuity and the enduring power of communication. The Sumerian language, while no longer spoken, continues to intrigue and fascinate scholars. Next, we'll dive into the fascinating world of the Akkadian language. Imagine, if you will, the ancient city of Akkad, bustling with traders, artisans and scholars, all communicating in a language that would become one of the cornerstones of human communication, the Akkadian language. Akkadian, named after the city of Akkad, emerged around 4,500 years ago and reigned supreme for nearly 2,000 years, making it one of the longest-lived languages in human history. It was the main language of trade, diplomacy and literature in the Near East, reaching far beyond the boundaries of the Akkadian Empire. The roots of the Akkadian language can be traced to the Semitic language family, which also includes Arabic and Hebrew. Interestingly, Akkadian is the earliest attested Semitic language, providing us with a unique insight into the early evolution of this rich and diverse language family. Now let's talk about the writing system. Akkadian was written in cuneiform, one of the earliest systems of writing. Cuneiform, which means wedge-shaped, was so named because of the wedge-like marks made by the reed stylus on clay tablets. This writing system was initially developed by the Sumerians, but the Akkadians adapted it for their own language, adding new symbols and modifying existing ones. Akkadian cuneiform was a syllabic script where each symbol represented a syllable rather than a single sound. This made it more flexible and capable of representing the complex sounds of the Akkadian language. This system was so effective that it was used for well over a thousand years, even surviving the fall of the Akkadian Empire. The use of the Akkadian language was widespread, found in a variety of contexts. It was used in trade, diplomacy, administration, and especially in literature. Akkadian literature is renowned for its richness and depth, with works such as the Epic of Gilgamesh, and the Code of Hammurabi standing as testaments to the sophistication of Akkadian culture. However, all good things must come to an end. 
The Akkadian language started to decline around the first millennium BC, gradually replaced by Aramaic as the lingua franca of the Near East. By around the first century AD, Akkadian had ceased to be a living language, surviving only in scholarly and religious texts. Despite its eventual decline, the Akkadian language left a lasting legacy. It served as a bridge between the ancient Sumerian civilization and the later cultures of the Near East. Many Akkadian words and phrases were absorbed into other languages, and the Akkadian system of cuneiform writing influenced subsequent scripts. Moreover, the study of Akkadian provides us with a wealth of information about ancient Near Eastern societies, their beliefs, their social structures, and their ways of life. The decipherment of Akkadian cuneiform in the 19th century opened up a new world of ancient literature, history, and law, profoundly enriching our understanding of human civilization. In conclusion, the Akkadian language, with its complex system of writing and its rich literary tradition, stands as a monument to the ingenuity and creativity of our ancestors. It reminds us that language is more than just a tool for communication. It's a window into the past, a reflection of our cultural heritage and a testament to the human capacity for innovation and expression. The Akkadian language, although lost to time, remains an important part of our linguistic heritage. Now let's explore the Egyptian hieroglyphs. These fascinating symbols, intricate and enigmatic, are more than just a pretty sight. They are a testament to a civilization that existed thousands of years ago, embodying the language, beliefs and customs of ancient Egyptians. The term hieroglyph translates to sacred carvings, reflecting their initial use in religious texts on temple walls and monuments. A unique feature of Egyptian hieroglyphs is their multidimensional nature. They're not just a written language, but also a form of art. They can be read from right to left, left to right, or top to bottom, depending on the direction the symbols are facing. This flexible reading direction is a testimony to the creativity and complexity of the ancient Egyptian scribes. Contrary to popular belief, hieroglyphs were not the everyday writing system for ancient Egyptians. They were predominantly used for inscriptions on monuments and religious texts. The common folk used a simplified version known as hieratic and later demotic script. Hieroglyphs with their detailed pictorial form were reserved for the most important and sacred texts, often associated with the gods and the pharaohs. The hieroglyphic system is a mix of logographic, syllabic and, and alphabetic elements. There are over 700 distinct hieroglyphs some representing the sounds of the Egyptian language and others standing for entire words or concepts. This blend of symbols and sounds made hieroglyphs a rich and expressive language system. But for centuries, the understanding of these hieroglyphs was lost. With the decline of the ancient Egyptian civilization, the knowledge of reading and writing hieroglyphs faded into oblivion. They became enigmatic symbols, a language forgotten by time. The last known hieroglyphic inscription dates back to the 5th century AD. The decipherment of Egyptian hieroglyphs was a riddle that puzzled scholars for centuries until the discovery of the Rosetta Stone in 1799. This remarkable artifact bore the same text written in three scripts, Greek, Egyptian Demotic, and hieroglyphs. The Greek and Demotic scripts were well known, but the hieroglyphs were a mystery. With the Rosetta Stone as a guide, Scholars finally cracked the code of the hieroglyphs in the early 19th century. The man credited with this monumental achievement is Jean-Francois Champollion. By comparing the Greek and hieroglyphic texts on the Rosetta Stone, he managed to match the hieroglyphic symbols with their corresponding sounds. This breakthrough opened the door to understanding ancient Egyptian civilization through its own words. Deciphering the hieroglyphs gave us unprecedented insights into the ancient Egyptian world. They revealed the religious beliefs, political structure, cultural practices, and daily life of a civilization that flourished for over 3,000 years. They brought to light the tales of gods and pharaohs, the wisdom of ancient scholars, and the dreams of a people long gone, Today, hieroglyphs continue to be a subject of fascination and study. They are not just remnants of a dead language, but living symbols that carry the echoes of an ancient civilization. They remind us of the human desire to communicate, to express, and to leave a mark for the future generations. In the grand scheme of human history, the Egyptian hieroglyphs hold a special place. They are a testament to our shared past, a link connecting us to the ancient world. They remind us of the complexities and achievements of ancient civilizations and the enduring power of language. 
So as we delve into the world of hieroglyphs, we are not just learning about a language system. We are connecting with a piece of our collective human history. We are engaging with a civilization that, though long gone, continues to influence us in ways more than one. The Egyptian hieroglyphs, a window into the ancient world, continue to captivate and puzzle us. As we draw our linguistic journey to a close, let's reflect on the intriguing insights we've uncovered. We've delved into the mysteries of the oldest spoken language where Tamil and Hebrew stand as strong contenders, their roots reaching back thousands of years. In the realm of written languages, Sumerian with its deciphered script from 3200 BC holds the title for the time being. When it comes to languages that have fallen silent, Sumerian again comes to mind, along with Egyptian hieroglyphs, a language that thrived from 3300 BC to the 4th or 5th century AD. We also explored the languages linked to the birth of civilizations, including Sumerian, Akkadian, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. These ancient tongues tell the tales of our ancestors and the civilizations they built. While we may never definitively know the oldest language, exploring these ancient tongues offers a fascinating glimpse into our shared human past.